Welcome back to Barney Garage Barbecue. And if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Today we're doing some pork belly burns on the Yoda YS. 640S. I'm gonna show you how to make an awesome maple bourbon glaze to toss on top of them when they're almost done to finish them to perfection. You ready to do this? Let's go! All right, we got about a six pound pork belly here. Looking pretty good. We're gonna cut this into uh, about one and a half inch cubes. Start by pretty much just marking here. Cut them into strips. Cube it up just about like this here. We're leaving the fat on. These will shrink down obviously because a lot of this pork belly is pretty much fat. I'm gonna get the rest of these cut up. I'm gonna bring it right back. All right, toss our pork belly into a tub here. We're gonna hit it up with some shakes. We'll go with some Uncle Steve's competition pig shake. It's gonna give this a nice coating. We cut it into cubes so we can catch smoke on every single side. We're gonna build up some bark on every side of this. You can go whole with it if you want, but I find it this way, it cooks a lot quicker, and it also picks up a lot more smoke. Just don't be shy, coat them up real nice. I'm gonna come back with a layer of Uncle Steve's smoke bomb. As always, there's a link to Uncle Steve down in the description. Click it, go visit Uncle Steve, tell him you came from behind the garage barbecue. This smoke bomb smells awesome. Any one of his shakes you can't go wrong with, I'll tell you that right now. It's looking good right there. All right, we got our wire rock here. Just gonna get our pork belly on there. We're going fat side up. Just gonna line them up. It's a lot easier when you put them on a rack. You're going in one shot, coming out one shot. Just gonna get the rest of these loaded up here, and I'll meet you out at the Yoda. All right, we got the Yoda set to 250. We do a little bit of upper deck cooking. Let's get our little pork belly bites there. Right on. And we do have enough for another little bit of a tray here. Get these going up over here. We'll let this run probably for about an hour to an hour and a half or so. Let's toss together our maple bourbon glaze. We're gonna start off with about a quarter cup of bourbon. Use your choice. Gonna steam up a little bit of that alcohol off of there. Coming back with a quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar. Couple tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Where right about there should work. Quarter cup of maple syrup. Use real maple syrup here, please. Quarter a cup of ketchup. Couple of tablespoons of honey. Bob's bee barf. Couple of tablespoons of John Mustard. Oh, come on. That'll work. A little whack of garlic powder. A 
A little whack of onion powder. A little bit of cracked pepper. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. Just gonna let this simmer here a little bit and let it reduce down. All right, the yoda's been going for about an hour and a half or so. Let's take a quick peek here. It's starting to get some nice color. Let's go pick it up on the bottom there. The fat's starting to melt just a little bit. Get a quick internal here. About 147, 148 roughly there. Check one of these here. About 158 in the back. I'm gonna spin these racks around here. Gonna go probably for about another half hour or so. We'll pop them out, we'll throw them in a pan. Alright, we've been simmering down for about 15 minutes or so. You can see it's getting nice and thick here. That's what you're looking for right there. This is the I'm looking for. You want it thicker? Keep continuing on. Let's give that a little taste. You're definitely picking up that bourbon. You got that maple right in there. Get some of that brown sugar rolling up in there too. All right, it's probably been about 35 minutes or so. Looking pretty damn good. See, we got some nice color rolling here. We're gonna pull these out, get them in a the pan. We'll be on a step two. All right, we got our pork belly off. Let's get a little tray here. Get all these tossed in. We'll toss in our little rack here first. A little rack, get it in there. You smell awesome already, I'll tell you that. Let's fire the rest of these right in. A little bit of butter, probably about four tablespoons or so. Just toss that in. A little bit of honey. Just a little drizzle. Maybe two tablespoons. Brown sugar, two or three tablespoons. And we'll come back with some of our maple bourbon glaze that we made. Drizzle it right over the top. It's looking good right there. Let's give this a nice mix. And we'll hit it up some foil, back on to the order. All right, we've been rolling for about 40 minutes or so. Let's get a quick check here. Let's watch out if I can get some steam out of here. Starting to get some play to them now. As you can see there, look pretty damn good, right? Just gonna mix these around a little bit, cover them up, let them go for about another half hour, 45 minutes. We'll bring it back. All right, it's been about 30 minutes or so. Let's take another peek here. Show for the steam once again. Oh, these are looking pretty damn good. Let's give them a little test here. We're going for probe tender. Oh, we're there. And 
as you can see there, this is just fall right apart. I'm gonna get these trans over, transferred over to a different pan, get some of that juice out of there, hit them up with a little bit more sauce, fire them back on for, for about 10 more minutes or so, just sort of tack up. We'll meet you when we plate them up. All right, we're back and we are plated up. Let's take you in for a close up. Oh, look at that. Glistening. Awesome goodness right there, I'll tell you that. Remember we used Uncle Steve's competition pig shake with a combo of the smoke bomb. All right, let's give one of these babies a taste test. It's falling apart. Those pork belly burn ends are hitting. Damn. That glaze that we made up, you get some of that. You're pulling in some of that uh, bourbon there, picking up that maple there. Damn. Those things right there are rocking. Real simple, real tasty. Give them a shot. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.